drive on this camera as well. Alright. This is constricting. We're gonna Take it off. off. Hi, this is Dicker here with the new <laughs> <laughs> You can't say shit like that on my channel. Ugh. This is Jigaboo. Alright. Going at you live. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Alright. Hi guys. Welcome to my channel. I'm Ashley. This is Aaron. What's up? Uh, if you guys haven't seen him, um, go watch my vlog because you know those are interesting. And he will be there getting stung by things. How's your hand feeling? I mean, it's like, it, I feel it. He can feel it, guys. Yeah, he can I feel, feel it. it. All right, so today we are going to be talking about relationships because you know everyone loves those and it's cuffing season Who doesn't love relationships? <laughs> so here we go and Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. Guess. All right Question number one. What's the first thing that you see? It really feels yourself? like we didn't just do this <laughs> What's the first thing I what? what? Interrupting. No, you can't look. What's the first thing you see yourself look at first in a girl when she like walks into a room? Oh, man. Jawline. Really? Yeah. Why? Like, like, why? Why? Why is that the first? Like, if a girl doesn't have a jawline, you're just going to be like, nope, not happening. Sorry. Well, not necessarily. But okay. Like, I'm not like one of them feely ass fuckers that like, oh, the eyes. Oh, my Lord. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if you like, guys don't know who we're laughing at behind camera, it's our friend Goma's dad, aka um, her dad, lover, apparently. Me, okay. <laughs> he's working out more. Oh god, it looks like a twink. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys can see what's happening behind camera right now. Uh, okay, ready for the second question? Yeah, let's okay. do it. What do you think about first dates? Um, they're usually like, okay, so like, if I have to be like full fledged, like honest, like, God, like they're whack. <laughs> like if you like meet a chick and you're like, yo, let me ask you out on a date, like, and then you ask her and all that stuff, not like let me ask you, but like, I'm asking you out on a date, and she says yes, it's like cool. I don't know, like I've like from like experience i've just like noticed that i like it if like your friends first and then like that trails on to something like because that's it's so much easy oh my gosh like instead of like meeting someone and being like oh I, I think you're cute like we should talk like that and then like you only are talking to them for like the attraction all that stuff you don't really know them and then it's like they just put off this certain persona that you like end up being like into for like time until, like, you know, the breakup. Ooh. But, like, as friends, like, I feel like when you get to know them, it's, like, the things that you want to do for, the things that you, like, get to know them for, it's for them, not for yourself. Versus, like, when you're meeting someone, it's, like, for yourself to turn into a for us. When in a friendship, it's always, like, yo, man, the better for us, like, the, like, the longer we go on. And I'm, like, trying to chill with that, you know? Not to mention, it's kind of cool, like, being friends with someone that, like, Maybe you broke up with or maybe not. I don't fucking know whatever girls on your guys' fucking lives. But, like, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. it's, like, cooler, I guess. Yeah. As long as you, like, depends on what happens with that next one. If, like, you're still friends with your ex. Right, Because right, right. <laughs> that shit gets, like, super weird. Yes. <laughs> I just gave, like, the weirdest look at the camera after that. <laughs> yes. Oh! I'm weak. Okay. So... Speaking of dates, what is your dream date? Um, what is it? <laughs> it's a crown. Nigga, no, that's not. That's not a nice since <laughs> at Party City. What you mean a crown? <laughs> the fuck? Okay. Um, dream date. No, dream date. I, first and foremost, in like a normal life, obviously, like, if a girl asks me out on a date instead of me, not, like, having to, but, like, if a girl's, like, yo, like, when a girl shoots her shot, you feel like you're the shit. Not, like, too much of the shit where you're, like, eh, nah. But, like, you're just, like, oh, shit, like, she's asking me for my time instead of me asking her for her time. Like, that's awesome. But, like, obviously, in, like, some sort of, like, fucking fantasy land, like, I don't know. Yo. High key. 
probably just like going home and like to someone's house and just like cooking indoors. That's hype. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Save all the fancy shit for later. Because then the bar is too high. You want the bar low. <laughs> so, I mean. Aaron. Yeah. How many girlfriends have you had? Like four or five. Four or five. Four or five. Nothing special. Right. Next question. You can't remember. <laughs> four, or five. four or five. Did you forget about one? Four or five. What do you mean did I forget about? Do you know how many people I've been in relationships with? I don't count high school. There was only one in high school. And then after high school, it was like just a bunch of talking here and there. Like, it's just... I'm just trying to fall in love, man. All right, next question. Uh, five. Are you in a relationship currently? We're not talking about it. That's my life. Okay. Um, number six. Biggest turn on. Sexually and non-sexually. Sexually and non-sexually. Uh, non-sexually? How sweet she is, I guess. Or him. Like, it doesn't really matter. I don't know. Flirt game. How accepting of how weird I am. That's number one. If, like, you can't handle it, like, it's not like a, oh, boo-hoo, like, you out, of the, you out the door, but, like, that's like appreciated. That's appreciated, you know. Like instead of it just like you trying to conform and like get used to it. Sexually, uh, wet BJ's and if she can move that ass, yes, like that. <laughs> you gotta do something for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next question. Do you want kids? And if so, at what age? Yeah, I do want kids. Um, age, like somewhere early 30s. Oh, God, if I'm still like looking for love. Not like looking, but like if love hasn't found me by like 32, I might as well just become like a porn star or something. Like, fuck it. Like, why not? I don't know. Just fuck all the drugs and everything, you know? <clears throat> right. They make so much money. They make hella bread. Question eight. Have you ever cheated? No. I'm dark skin. No. We don't do that. We fucking run shit, but we don't cheat. I don't know about all that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, ass. <laughs> no. I've never cheated. Okay. <clears throat> Number nine. I wasn't saying you. I know you weren't. <laughs> We all know who I was talking about. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> None of my business. Middle man. All right. <laughs> Middle man. <laughs> Number nine. What's your definition of love? Um, compatibility. I mean, like, there's got to be, like, we all know there's, like, people are, like, you're just, maybe we just don't fit for each other or, like, you're just not my type or anything like that. But, like, there are some people where it's, like, Oh, we're too alike. It's boring. And then there are people like, oh, we're too different. It's not going to work out. And it's just like, how well you just mesh together, man. It's all about the flow. I don't know. Happy mediums. Yeah. All that. Great. Mm -hmm. Um, Do you believe in love at first sight? Oh, man. I talked about this on my Snapchat. Um. Or in your case, since of. You've never been in love. Never been in love. So, like, a, a, I guess it would be hard to say, like, like at first sight. So <laughs> like at first sight? Because, obviously, you're yeah, like, I like, like that. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I'm like, hmm, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like that. In the story. I don't know, love at first sight, though, like, that's, like, interesting. I've never really, like, I've never really, like, had the, like, all of my relationships were, like, short as fuck. But, like, um... Like, at that point, I think it's, like, a problem with me. But, like, every time I, like, think about it, you know, like, go over the problems. Like, you know, like, when the breakup's happening, you, like, talk about it and yeah. everything. I, like, know it wasn't me, but, like, wrong place, wrong time, something like that, maybe. I don't mm -hmm. fucking know. Right. But, um, nah, when it comes to love at first sight, probably not. No. Okay. That's why. So, what do you think ruins relationships most? Communication. Compatibility. <laughs> I don't know, man. 
like social media. <laughs> that's I feel social like media. That's, like, I feel like that's a big one. That like that's like a huge one. Oh man, niggas don't cheat on anything else but Snapchat. I wouldn't say that. They they do, they do. Watch that. I've talked to my friends about it numerous times. Question twelve. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best way to show that you like someone? So I would say I'm love, but They're so gonna think I'm a cheater after this. <laughs> Fuck you. Aaron's a good guy. Don't don't, don't think that. I wouldn't say a good guy. I'm an asshole, but yeah, I you don't are. Cheat. But yeah, don't cheat. Jay ha- he has got that going for him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh. Yikes. What's the best way to show that you like someone or that you love someone? How much attention you give them? Because they eat that shit up. Okay. Anybody does. I don't know. Okay. And thoughtfulness. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, you wake up in the morning after a hookup or sex, either one. What do you make food-wise, if anything? A bowl of ramen for them. Grilled cheese sandwich and tomato soup for me. Maybe some pancakes. <laughs> it's a one night stand okay I don't know I'm one of those loud people that wakes up so like I feel like I would wake them up if they want to come down and cook some food with me go right ahead but I don't know your dietary plan so ramen <laughs> is that gluten free no, probably not probably not but you can have the broth <laughs> <laughs> you can have the broth of the ramen okay. I don't know shit <laughs> um 14 okay. have you ever had your heart broken whoa just like that? Oh, shit. It's so hard to say. Um, I've definitely had, like, let down situations. Disappointments. Yeah, there it is. Thank you. Thank you for that word. I've definitely had those situations. Heartbroken, though. I mean, I don't know. Like, you weren't there when, like, I dated Colette. That wasn't, like, a heartbreak. I mean, I was, but... but... <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't, like, a heartbreak, but that was, like, a... That was, like, a... Oh, man. That sucks. Shoot. I guess. I don't know. Like, afterwards, the things that I would hear, like, it was kind of like, whoa. Mm -hmm. But, like, you should probably cut that part out. (laughs) That puts a bad look on people. Whoa. And then, like, I don't know, my recent relationship, that was only a month. Woo. Uh. Oh, shit. Nah. Never. Go on. He just wants it. He really wants these questions to go by far, but like, who the fuck wouldn't want to have deep conversations like this and have them go on forever? Like, they'd be talking about it with their friends. You know what I mean? I don't know. Um, are you okay? Say something. Um, say something. Um, are you okay? Say something. Um, Wait, are you okay? Um, say something. Um, are you okay? Say something. You're just saying, uh, 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 you're not really saying words. You're ruining this. <laughs> It's like this one. Children. We too. Children. Dad is, or your child now. Is there someone um, that you compare all your relationships to? Like someone like, like, that you've been with and like you think that like you compare? Fuck no. Okay. <laughs> fuck no. Oh my God. I honestly, anytime I get in a relationship, I'm just like better than the last maybe. I feel like it's always different. Like you, like some For people, mine? yeah. Like some people, <laughs> yeah. like you date a lot of different, <clears throat> different types of girls. Yes, but like okay, so like recently, like one of the girls, she's like cool girl. She's one of the girls I was talking to. She was like, "Tell me, like, what's the number one thing you see in common between like all the girls you like talked mm-hmm. to and or dated?" Right. And I was like, "Ooh, um, hella attitude, super emotional, or like." What was the other one? Fuck. What was the other one? It's something else. I can't think of it right now. But that was like, that was like one of the things. Like, she like asked me. And I was like, holy shit. Like, that was like a f- random question. I did not expect that shit. Girls, you should probably like ask every dude you end up talking to that question. Because. It's a solid question. You may uncover some shit. Yeah. That like, he may hide from you. Like, I didn't hide it from her. Like, I told her. I cannot think of what the third word was. You're really beating up our background. Am I? Yes. Your hair is just really doing it a favor. <laughs> that was so fucking funny. All right, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. So that concludes.
concludes my question. Talk about like aliens in the next Shut one. Shut up! No, I hate that. If you saw my last vlog, he Conspiracy talked about theories. that shit. No. So, thank you guys for watching. Monsters. If you want to stay tuned and check in the bio for when well, Aaron starts. Can he I just do an the, outro? You ruined the outro. Shame on you. So <laughs> it's like <laughs> action. <laughs> so, uh, thank you guys for watching. Please comment, subscribe, and once he gets his channel up, then I'll put that link in the bio so you guys can, I guess. Go Tune in on the next episode where we ask her the same fucking shit. Do you guys want to see that? Comment down below. Anyway, her question talk to you guys so later. Fucking different. Say bye. Just cut it. <laughs> just, just like hit the button. I don't say bye to people. We say later. 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 I did it. <laughs> I said it. Oh, that's the longest outro ever. I'm done. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of cuts to do. I'm ready to go.